Soldier Field is where the Bears play their home games, but on Monday night, the Renegades Hockey Club and the Latin Romans played each other in the Coyote Hockey Classic. I interviewed players from both teams about how they felt about playing at Soldier Field. All right, I'm Kyle Smith for Villa Park Television and for a special broadcast, Chicago Access Network Television, as the Renegades Hockey Club will take on the Latin Romans, not Land School Chicago. What's so cool about this hockey team, the Latin Romans, is eight combined high schools that are all affiliated with the program, and I have three very nice guys to interview today. First of all, leading scorer, Charlton McArdle. First of all, Charlton, what is it like to play at Soldier Field? I think it's incredible. We just went out there just to check it out, and it's just, I just looked up in the stands, and it's amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Obviously, hockey was started outside, not the indoors that we usually play. Were you playing on the pond a lot to get ready for this game? Um, not really. Well, we went out a couple times, but it was really just, we kind of stayed outside a little bit to try to get used to the cold um, and to see how it's going to affect us. And just an incredible year for you. And you're only a sophomore. What do you attribute to your success this season? Uh, I think it's just my teammates. You know, I try my best as a player, but they're the ones that are there to support me and assist me and do everything they can. So, Well, I wish you the best of luck today. And uh, score a hat trick uh, for me, will you? Do my best. <laughs> I'm also here with Tom Henley, number 91. Great number, I should add. What made you pick number 91? I've been 91 forever, so that was my first number for on my first team, so I just stuck with it. Random or just uh, a, a player that you like? What made you choose number 91? It was random. It really was, <laughs> but uh, I always liked it. It always stuck with me. It always had a meaning to me, so yeah. Um, you guys played the Renegades, actually, in a tournament. Um, were you there for the tournament? If so, uh, what was that like playing them in the tournament, and how was that going to uh, translate to today's game? Uh, it was a pretty rough game, actually. It started out pretty nasty, but... Uh, that energy should carry over in this game a little bit. It was a tight game last time. Hopefully it will be another tight game. Playoffs are coming soon. Obviously this is a tune-up for the playoffs. What has Coach Sorensen said to you guys to uh, get ready for the playoffs and what this game means going forward in the season? It, it's all momentum, and you you got to get on a win streak and just go into the playoffs hot or else it's really going to slow you down and you're not going to get as far as you'd want to get far. All right, how many goals are you going to score today? One, two, five, ten, how many? Anywhere between 0 and 10. I'm really <laughs> expecting good numbers, though. Yeah, just, just approximate value, 0 to 10, you know. And I got one more guy to interview today, Greg Ward, yep. uh, for the Latin Romans. And this is a combined game, which is really cool. Varsity and JV. Are you on the JV or varsity this uh, year? Varsity. I'm a alternate captain like Charlton over there for varsity. So, so you kind of run the show. Why don't you tell people that don't know hockey so much what it's like being an alternate captain? Uh, well, I mean, it's like any other sport. Uh, it's all about leadership, and uh, I mean, being an alternate is not very different from being a captain. It's just lead by example. What is it like playing for a program that has so many uh, high schools combined, whereas in football and basketball, it's just Latin School of Chicago? Um, well, it, it does get kind of hard as far as like uh, being closer as a team, just because uh, you don't see the guys at school, but uh, I think we've done a good job of... Uh, communicating and uh, we've bought, really bonded as a team this year. Uh, I know as a team we've got to put a lot of pucks on net, let the goalie make mistakes, let him give up rebounds and be in the right position to capitalize on those, really grind it out. That's how we play, that's how we win games. All right, Corey, uh, what, I understand outside of hockey you play, you play, some, you play some different sports. Can you, let, can you let me in on how this prepares you for those sports? Uh, it just shows me leadership. Uh, how to work with your team and just how to get ready for the next se uh, season to start. All right, you've clinched third place. You're about to clinch the play. You're you're gonna go into the playoffs. How is this gonna game gonna prepare you? Since it's a different like different environment, you're actually playing in the elements instead of a rink controlled, a temperature controlled arena. Uh, well, they're a good team. They're a big they're a big team. They're a fast team. The elements are against us, so this will prepare us so that when we go back in the indoor rink, it's easier, it's easier to concentrate, and hopefully this will be a good preparation for that. All right, Corey, outside, outside of this and also here, how excited are you to play out, outdoors when most of the time in college, if you're lucky, but also in the NHL, maybe, but, who, but you know that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. How excited are you tonight? Uh, it's pretty exciting. I've been waiting a uh, whole week for this. It's been really fun. Got a kid on another team that I'm playing. That's on my other team. So it'll be pretty fun. 
distract distract you much in class? Yeah, a little. Yeah. Come on. Good, good boy. Um. All right. And all right. That is in, that is all the time we have. We are live from the Renegade locker room. This is Eric Katz signing off. The game was played on February 16th, 2015, and the puck dropped at 5 o'clock p.m. The two schools were the Latin Romans High School Hockey Program and the Renegades Hockey Club. The Latin Romans is eight different high schools that band together to form a high school hockey program of JV and varsity players. The same thing goes for the Renegades, however, it's four high schools coming together to form the Renegades. Addison Trail, Willowbrook, Fenton, and Montini. As for the game itself, the Latin Romans won 4-1 to one thanks to Charlton McArdle scoring all four goals for the Romans. But the story of the game was how fun it was for the kids and that they got to play at Soldier Field, the home of the Chicago Bears. As for the game, a frigid night at Soldier Field. Here is on-demand play-by-play and color commentary of the Coyote Classic. Take on the Renegades from the Western Suburbs. Renegades... Nice pass. Oh, what a save off the blocker. And then frozen. And a late hit there. No call from the official. The late hit credited to Henley and game on Wednesday. Breakaway here. Shot. Oh, Hernandez. What a beautiful glove save by double zero. The Coyote Classic was a tune up game for the Blackhawk Cup. As such, players from both the Renegades and Latin called up players from their respective JV rosters to play at Soldier Field. As for the Blackhawk Cup, Lane Tech took on the Renegades on Wednesday, February 18th, and the Latin Romans will play the Pekin Dragons on February 28th. Reporting for Villa Park Television and Chicago Access Network Television, I'm Kyle Smith.